Hey, um, I just watched a video about uh, non-black Africans, and I was going to just post a um, response, uh, this type of response, but then I was, I mean, I was kind of excited, I was like, I kind of have a lot to say, so why not do a video? A uh, really good video. I'm really glad I, I happened upon this video. Um, you know, I think it was really good, very educational, the presentation was really good, yeah, the passion you showed in it was, was, was really touching, but... One of the main things is that I was trying to figure out research and actually get an actual explanation of black women's asses for quite some time. And I mean, I just did some little internet searches, but I never really came up with anything. So you just you really got me when I heard the term uh, statopedia because I found nothing whatsoever in my searches. So I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I have some leads now. So yeah, it was it was a really good video um, and the whole out of Africa and the Negritos. Um, I've heard about Negritos. I've, I know about the um, the San Quay San um, Sarah Bartman. Um, I heard about her. I did a study abroad to South Africa, and uh, so I, I knew about this. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't know the term, but I knew the the, the I knew that it existed. Um, so I'm really glad that that I came across this. I'm glad you found this. I found this through you. Um, because I guess I have somewhat of an explanation because I had crazy ass theories that I made up in my, <laughs> in my head um, and I guess yours make, makes a lot more sense um, as far as the ice age except for the fact that it was my understanding that people in the southern hemisphere where these African peoples lived weren't really the ice age did not advance that far um, and temperatures are relatively normal so my assumption would be that um those fat reserves had something to do with their hunter-gatherer lifestyle and the women happen to have these fat stores because there wasn't necessarily that stable um, um, access to, to foods um, and energy uh, being hunter-gatherers as I know the sand um, are or were I think maybe to some extent some of them still are um, I know I remember learning that uh, they're one of the only groups that are like, hunter gatherer groups that still exist. Anyway, um, um, um yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to ramble too much, but um, yeah, uh, it's a really good video. I'm definitely feeling what you're saying. Like when you were talking about um, the, uh, you know, do we claim them as African, and is it wrong for us to do that? Because I think we definitely have a tendency, and I think some people definitely take it too far in claiming anyone with dark skin to be black. I watched one of the videos that led me to your video. There was a guy, you know, much much respect to him, but he was saying, you know, Indians are black. Indians are black. How could you dare call Indians Asian? And I, like you're that like look, I understand that science is not perfect, but I have a healthy respect for it. And a healthy dose of crit uh you know, skepticism along with it as well. But for me to say that anyone whose skin is as dark as mine or darker, or lighter for that matter, is black, it's just like no, I'm not gonna ignore Genetics and ignore the com the complexities of human migration and say that this man in India is blacker than me and therefore he must be from Africa just like me, because when you take a group like the Adamanese and you see that well there's there's a chance that okay yes they migrated from Africa but then maybe they mix with migrations from the Middle East from 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 Europe and that it's more complex than saying that skin tone makes you black. Um, and then you get into the complexities of what they're there. I was looking on Wikipedia. I don't know. I have a lot of better sources than Wikipedia. But I looked up the Adamanese on Wikipedia and it was talking about their, uh, you know, tracing their mitochondrial DNA, DNA and how parts of it are related to those on the Indian continent. And um, some are just completely unique to them. And it's just, it's really interesting. Um, so on one hand, yeah, I, I definitely, I, I, I agree with what you're saying as far as or do we claim them as black. Um, should, should we have to? Should they have to accept, oh, we're African? No. I think some populations definitely shouldn't just based on their skin tone alone. But when you see someone like them, like the Adam and Lee, like the Negritos in Southeast Asia, who look so African, not just in skin color, but in features and, and hair, um, I think we are kind of, we feel the urge to say, well, hey, they have to be black like us. Um, um, and I think that's okay on to some extent, as long as we're not denying them the history that is theirs, that is uniquely theirs. They're not from Africa. They left Africa in prehistoric times. 
So, you know, don't you can't deny them their unique place in history. But I think it's okay to recognize their I don't know, genetic similarity to us, I guess. But um but yeah, this is really good stuff. I'm really glad, you know, uh I'm really glad, I'm thankful for finding your video. Um uh, I wanna look a, a lot more into them now. Um I guess I could have waited and posted the video afterwards, but I was just too excited about it. Um, I found another website. I don't know if I'm just telling you stuff you already know, but there's another good website, the Survival, the Movement for Tribal Peoples, about the different um, Andamanese tribes. I'll put the link in here, I guess. You can check it out. I'm just not looking at it. It may not even be that great. It just looks good. Anyway, um, uh, this is really a very unplanned video, so I hope I'm not forgetting anything. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say it was a great vid, and it helped me with some things that I've been thinking about um, over the past couple of years, and uh, I don't know, I guess that's about it. Uh, keep up the good work, and uh, much respect. Peace.